Okay. Hey, cool kids, let's talk about a variety of subjects, okay? Camera change. In my life, I've been to a number of places, and whenever I do, I like to appreciate the change in scenery and the different kind of beauty that that place possesses. But it's never come about that I've been in a place long enough that that, that new type of beauty, or new to me type of beauty, becomes commonplace or becomes the expected, the regular, the ordinary. As you know, if you watch this channel frequently, I was in Canada for about a month and a half. I'm not really going to talk about that right now. What I am going to talk about is the fact that Canada, or the particular spot in Canada that I was, um, a small island near Vancouver, is an extremely beautiful place. There are two colors dominating that landscape, which is gray from the sky and um, the rocks, and green, which is from the trees. Because every tree there is a evergreen tree, and apparently they've never heard of maple leaves, which is something that Canada's supposed to be famous for. Actually, that's a lie. When I went into Vancouver City, there were maple trees planted in the sidewalks, and I stole one of their red maple leaves. However, since I was there for a slightly extended period of time, I became accustomed to that beauty. And then, when I returned to the place where I live now in New England, I was just like, whoa, New England is beautiful! And it was almost that new type of revelatory experience where you notice that something is beautiful in a different way. When you go somewhere new, there's a revelatory beauty in that it has a beauty which is different than the place that you've been, which is the accustomed beauty. Well, when I came back to New England, it was as if New England was a revelatory beauty, and Canada, where I'd been, was the accustomed beauty, which was kind of cool. I got to see my home in a new light, as it were. All of that doesn't really relate to my question, which is, what do I lack? And I mean this as far as being a poet or any type of artist goes. Not that being a poet or an artist is something that I've seriously considered as a profession, but it's something that I try and be, if that makes sense. Not as a vocation, but as a state of being. Anyway, the answer to my question, what do I lack, is experience. This is me. I'm a small glass of water, which isn't very deep nor very wide. And the sum of all human experience is an ocean. There's not a lot in here. Now really, that's okay, because I'm young, and I have a ton of my life ahead of me wherein I can still experience things, and experience new things, and experience things from that ocean, and try and gain new experiences, and vital experiences, and, 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 and stuff. However, as an artist, or as somebody who attempts to be an artist, the duty of whom is to express humanity, the limitation of having so little experience is enormous. Or rather, the largeness of the limitation is proportional to the smallness of your personal experience. This is what bothers me about Disney stars, um, or, 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 or artists like Justin Bieber, or, or, you know, young artists, essentially, is that they have so little experience that, that, what do they, what can they possibly say? I don't see them as having anything positive or anything real or worth, or of worth, to contribute to the conversation of humanity. I will add, though, that whatever size glass your experience can be contained in, it is still important that you drink from it, and that you drink it in entirely. First, because it's important to stay hydrated, and second, because people may experience a lot of things, but if they don't take those experiences into themselves, if they don't drink fully of those experiences, then they can't bring them back out. They can't, to use a disgusting image, regurgitate those experiences into artistic expression, and so cannot contribute to the human conversation. It is impossible to drink the entire ocean of human experience. There are too many things to do for one lifetime and one person, but I think some things are more worth drinking. And some thoughts more worth spewing back, and some experiences more worth regurgitating. And as someone with only a small cup of experiences, it's my task to pick and choose wisely which experiences I want to drink in, and how best to contribute to the conversation of humanity through artistic expression of those experiences.